Hey everyone, my name is Ronak and today I'm going to show you how to play this 2 to 4 player city building and tile laying game called Nama Bangalore. In this game, you try to build Bangalore city and score the most points by strategically placing the tiles that match your private neighborhood cards. The player who gets most points at the end according to their neighborhood cards will win the game. In the components, you get a Vidana Sauda building, a center tile, city block tiles, neighborhood cards and player scoring markers. Let's look at the setup. First place the rectangular center tile in the middle of a flat surface and place the Vidhana Sauda building built on top of it. Now separate the neighborhood cards which are worth 10 points. Shuffle the city block tiles and place them face down. This will be your draw pile. Now shuffle the neighborhood cards and let each player draw one at random. Remember that you have to keep your neighborhood cards a secret till the end of the game. Now place the remaining cards as a drop pile at the side. Keep these cloud shaped scoring markers aside as they will be used at the end of the game. For a two player game, pick out two city block tiles randomly and return them to the box. In a three player game, remove only one of each type. And for 4 players, use all 60 city block tiles. Now each player picks up 2 city block tiles from the draw pile in their hand. The first player condition for this game is a rather complex one. What I'm going to do is I'm going to get the publisher on board right now on call with me to tell you guys. Hey Shweta, how's it going? Hey Ranak, the first person to pronounce Byata Rayana Pura correctly starts the game and then the turn goes clockwise. <laughs> Thanks a lot Shweta, bye bye. Once you've figured out who the first player is, let me tell you which actions you can do in your turn. Placing a tile. Place a city block tile from your hand into the play area. This must be adjacent to the center tile or any city block tile. If the tile you are placing is of a different type, the road on the city block tile being placed must be joined to any one side of the road on the existing tile. You cannot connect it over here and if you do not have a road on your tile, then you can't place it here. If the tile is of the same type, then you only need to ensure that any one side matches with the existing tile. Swapping hand tiles Replace both city block tiles in your hand by swapping them with two city block tiles from the drop pile and then randomly place the discarded tiles in the drop pile. Pick an additional neighborhood card. Pick the top card from the neighborhood card drop pile. These are also used as payment to demolish and rebuild the tile. Demolish any existing city block tile in the play area by placing a tile on top of that tile that you wish to demolish. For this, you must discard one of your neighborhood cards as payment for the demolition. The discarded card will be out of the game. Let's see how the game ends. The game end is triggered when there are no more remaining tiles in the city block tile drop pile. After that, each player gets one final turn and then you move on to scoring. Scoring Calculate your score by adding up the points, looking at your private neighborhood cards with the patterns in your play area. The orientation of the pattern on neighborhood cards can even be mirrored or rotated. Now take 10 scoring markers of a single type to help you with verifying patterns on the board. You can also use a single type to create two different patterns too. 
Here you have this pattern with this tile and the same tile can be used to complete the other pattern too. With this card, earn extra plus 5 points for every time the shown city block is placed adjacent to your other neighborhood cards. After calculating, the player with the highest points wins. The publisher recommends that when you play your first game, play with only the 10 pointer neighborhood cards. Also during the whole game, try to collect only 3 to 4 neighborhood cards. And that's how you play Nama Bangalore. If you like this game and want to check out more from this same publisher Dice Toy Labs, I'll leave a link in the description below and you can check out all their products. If you want to see more such awesome cool videos of Indian board games and other international board games, do like this video as well as subscribe to my channel and check out all the previous videos. Also tell me in the comments below which other games video would you like to see. Till then keep playing and I'll see you in the next one.